This is the Rolling with Tay podcast. I'm your host, Tayja, a.k.a. Tay. And this is a Tay Short episode 12. Happy New Year. Today is January 2nd, 2024. We've made it. <laughs> we made it, y'all. Um, that right there is an accomplishment within itself. But for real, um, Happy New Year. And let's make 2024... An amazing year. So to start off my new year, I challenge myself to do a thousand jump rope skips per day. Um, I started December 19th, 2023 and ended today, January 2nd, 2024. At first, I I thought, oh, it's not going to be so bad, right? I'll challenge myself. It's, it's, I did a thousand jump rope skips, right, in one session. And it took me a little over 10 minutes. And I was like, that wasn't so bad. And then I thought about it. I'm like, hmm, what can I do to bring in a new year? And I thought, oh, you know, I'm jumping rope. Let me, let me challenge myself and, you know, do the thousand jump rope skips per day. So, after I did the initial thousand, I was like, all right, this is not so bad. I I believe I can do it. So then I did it. I made a video. And after I did it, the the, the official, you know, my official start on December 19th, I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to do this. I, I got this. In the back of my head, I'm like, what am I doing? Right. But I'm like, nah, I got this because I got like a week. I could do this in a week. Well, I didn't really. (laughs) I had my weeks mixed up and I'm like, oh, no, I have to do this for two weeks. So there was that. But um, yeah, after the first first official one, I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna do this. Once I got to about the third one. My third day, I was like, ah, damn, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to get up and jump rope. You know, it's getting close to the holidays. Um, I'm traveling, going to see family. Why am I doing this? Um, but I pushed through. I, I made a commitment to myself that I was going to do this. So I, I was jumping rope in the house. I was jumping rope outside. I was jumping rope in the drizzling rain. I was jumping rope. Um, you name it, I was jumping rope, you know? Um, I made time for it. Um, and I did it. I completed it. I was so happy for today because I'm like, yes, it's over. But <laughs> I was so happy that I completed this whole challenge, right? But every day that I completed the jump rope, um, I felt better. I felt good, you know. Um, I did want to build my endurance up. So what better way to me was to to do it with the jump rope. Now, I could have done it other ways, but um, I chose uh, a jump rope. So, kudos to me for that. Um, I also, to bring in the new year, I rode 24 miles for, of course, 2024, um, virtually, New Year's Eve. Um, I have this, like, love-hate thing with um, riding virtually. Like, I like it. Right, especially when you can't go outside when it's raining, when it's super cold. But then, to me, it's kind of boring, or it can get kind of boring, you know. So, um, I don't enjoy it as much. But um, I am thankful that I was able to ride and do twenty-four miles virtually. I I rode around Prospect Park, which was cool. Um, and what else did I do? 
on January 1st, I went out and skated because I hadn't skated in a while. So I did a few things. I rode, I skated, and um, I jumped rope. You know, to bring in the new year, um, to be more intentional about my health, right, my fitness. They recommend that you get, I think, 150 minutes per week of um, exercise. Um, intense to vigorous exercise, I believe. Um, to be honest, I think if you start where you, you can, right? You, you do what you can. Um, I think if it's going outside for, you know, a 10 minute walk every other day, if it's doing squats, if it's stretching in the morning, I say do what you can and then you'll, you will then um, uh, add to that, I believe, right? But this, I think the most important thing for anybody to do is just start. But um, I really want to try to hit that goal of 150 minutes. Actually, I want to surpass that. And um, I have this new Garmin watch. It's called Garmin Vivo Active 5. It came out not too long ago. But I have this watch, and it's, um, it tracks how many minutes a week so it has the 150 and then it says all right what what have you done and for the past couple weeks since I've been doing the uh, jump rope challenge I have been surpassing that because not only was I jumping rope but I was uh, jogging um, and or um, cycling you know virtually five miles here you know two miles there or whatever um, just spending time on the bike um, and um, doing jumping jacks. So um, just trying to be active. I will add some more um, exercises into my routine. But, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm starting where <laughs> I'm starting where I can, right? <laughs> Let me do these. Let me let me jump rope. I, I have two jump ropes. Let me uh, do jumping jacks. This is the first thing I could do once I get up in the morning after stretching. You know, let me stretch and then let me do some jump rope. I mean, let me do some jumping jacks. Um. So yeah, and and with this, I don't know if it's every. I assume it's every Garmin watch, but they give you your fitness age. And I've said this before, and if you don't know, I will be 40 this year. That's right, 40. <laughs> and to see, when I first got this watch, I believe in the beginning of November, to now, my fitness age was 37, I think, or 38. And now it's 34 and a half. Which is, I'm like, okay. It, now, I don't know how accurate this is, but it makes me feel good. And especially to see that I am, again, being intentional about working out. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty cool. And if you have a Garmin watch, let me know if this is, you know, on your Garmin watch as well. But I assume so. Um mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, I'm starting off 2024 right, I think. In my in my book, I'm starting off right. <laughs> I signed up for the um Florida Inline Skate Marathon, which is going down in Sarasota, Florida. So, I signed up for that. I have not signed up for the Philadelphia Women's Triathlon. I'm gonna be honest, Swimming hasn't been going the way that I kind of saw it in my mind. So I stopped taking, so I was taking classes at um, Lehman and I stopped. Um, honestly, I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel like 
I didn't think I belonged in that class. <laughs> it seemed like everyone was so much more advanced than me. And my friend tried to talk me into staying, but I was just like, I, I just don't feel confident enough and comfortable enough. Mm -hmm. And I know those two things with me, I'm not going to perform. You know, I'm just going to like, it's like stage fright. Anyway, so I ended up dropping the class and... Um, so that means I wasn't swimming for six weeks or however long the class was. Um, but my goal is to get a personal swimming coach. So I have to work on that. But one thing I did do, which I am proud of myself. I mean, it wasn't, it, it wasn't really a big deal, but, but I was proud of myself because... So I, I joined um, one of the, the New York City recreational gyms, and the gym that I went to had a pool. So one Sunday morning, uh, I got up early and um, went to the gym and got in the pool. And I tried to do some of the the swimming techniques that I've learned from my previous uh, sw swimming uh, courses. Uh, I don't know. I I, I felt like, <laughs> I'm like, am I doing this right? <laughs> and then the lifeguard was looking at me. I'm like, uh, I got a little self-conscious. So I was like, oh, man, why is this lifeguard looking at me? I guess he was like, don't drown. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. But... I was doing that back and forth. I was doing like the my bubbles. I was, you know, it was like I was taking my own little mini class by myself, you know, and and I got comfortable and it was cool. I stayed in the pool for half an hour, but what I was like, what I I like realized, this was the first time in my life, right. Or I'll say my adult life that I've ever gone to the pool, and if, if you you listened before, I thought like I kind of written off swimming, so and I written off swimming like <laughs> as a kid, but this was the first time that I got into a pool by myself and did these swimming techniques. And I thought that was like, you know, I was proud of myself because even though I'm not taking the classes and I don't have a, a swimming instructor right now, you know, I still want to put forth the effort into doing something. So if it's going to the pool and blowing bubbles for half an hour, then go do that. If it's going to the pool and pushing off the wall, you know, and doing some of the swimming techniques that I learned, then do that, you know. As long as I'm doing something, you know, being proactive. And then when I get a uh, swimming instructor, then, you know, we can go on from there. But I'm not giving up. Now, the second, re well, okay, so I, again, the I didn't sign up for the triathlon because I didn't, well, I don't feel comfortable s swimming in the triathlon, <laughs> that, that's number one. And then number two, I thought like, should I be signing up for the try? Like, depending on when I get a coach, depending on how long it takes me to learn how to swim, you know, will I swim well enough for the triathlon? I don't know. So then I was thinking, maybe do a duathlon, right? So I'm not giving up on my dreams to, to swim and do a triathlon because I still want to do that, right? I have to accomplish that goal. But maybe do a duathlon first, right? Sign up because, you know, running is a new thing for me, right? I got the cycling down, but it, the, the running part is new. So I think this will still be a challenge for me. And um, I still want to participate, right? And I heard this is a good um, triathlon. 
even though I won't be doing the triathlon, the swimming part, I, I could do the running and the biking. So I'm thinking about that. Um, I am leaning towards the duathlon, but I'm like, well, what if I, you know, what if I find an instructor and in like five weeks I'm like really good at swimming and now I could do the triathlon, right? So I'm going to think about it. Um, yeah. And what else? I think that's that was pretty much it. National parks, yeah, you know, I already mentioned that before. I'm going to some national parks um, this year. Again, I'm being intentional about going. And, um, yeah, just taking care of myself overall, fitness, you know, mentally and physically. And I think we all need to um, to do that. I really think we all need to, you know, um, rest, relax, um, have fun with these hobbies, right? For me, cycling is, I always say it's therapeutic, I, I say it's fun, it's, um, it's joy, it's freedom. It's movement. It's a lot of things, especially for a lot of people. But, you know, these hobbies that we do, these endurance um, activities, I hope people have fun with them, you know? Even when I was jumping rope, I was trying to have fun with it. Um... Most days, again, like I said, I didn't want to get up into it. But when I did, you know, I was thinking about the end. Like, oh, I'm going to be done and, and how it's going to make me feel. But I was also having fun. Like, okay. Like, remember these activities, right? Jumping rope, riding your bike, skating, skateboarding, um, running, whatever. Remember how fun they were when you were a kid, you know, I, I think it should still be fun. Um, and, uh, I think we should, you know, have fun with it and not take everything so seriously, you know, but that's just my two cents. Um, you know, my taste shorts, I got to ramble on a little bit. But I just wanted to say Happy New Year. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for listening. Thank you to all the guests. Um, and I look forward to 2024. I hope you do as well. There's more to come from me, um, my blog, my podcast, um, just making connections and having fun. Most importantly, having fun. So, with all that said, this is the Rolling With Tay Podcast. I'm your host, Tasia, a.k.a. Tay, and thanks for listening. <laughs>